If the gold standard is the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and they are failing on their face, the welfare movement has failed. I'll be going down into the gas. We're going to get caught. We're just going over to the RSPCA and make a statement about their statement. Is the uh, RSPCA here? So I got this email last night. They created a uh, no reply email. So that doesn't seem like a charity that's uh, willing to engage with the topic. It says both the RSPCA and the RSPCA Assured care passionately about improving the lives of farm animals. And we welcome input and respectful debate from all voices. We fiercely believe that we should be working together for animal welfare and are open to ideas that can help us on our journey to move farming into a higher welfare future. I don't know what that means, but I think I was very clear yesterday about what I was saying. So they've not addressed it right now. Maybe they'll address it in the second part. We agree more humane alternatives to CO2 urgently need to be developed. And we continue to urge the UK government to follow the European Union's lead to seek a phase out by prioritising investment in research into a more humane alternative. They've been doing this for decades. They've been saying this for decades. DEFRA's Farm Animal Welfare Council in 2003 called for a ban, a phase out. They said it needs to be banned, it's hor horrible. Two decades ago, there is no alternative. Well, there are alternatives, but they're not financially viable. None that the pig killing industry will accept. So this here is just buying time, essentially. It's just, it's just PR, they know there's no alternative. My answer to that is, until there is one that is consistent with your ethos, which is, you know, animal welfare, remove yourself, your labelling, and yourself from the meat industry. I don't even think they should be in the meat industry. So my criticism is that of them, the labelling shouldn't be on pork as a minimum, as a minimum, because of the CO2 gas torture. And they're saying they're going to keep it on until they find a more humane alternative. We're talking about decades that nothing has been done. Do so you think the, the pig killing industry are gonna come around and go, actually, there is an alternative that we lose 10 million pounds a year. They don't, they, these alternatives aren't as efficient or cheap as CO2. That's why they use CO2. It's got nothing to do with the animals. It's got nothing to do with it being humane. However, to protect the well-being of our staff and members of the public sharing our building, we will not be sending anyone out to meet with the protesters on the street today. I mean, I didn't really expect them to come out to a, a, a group full of protesters anyway. What actually annoys me about this statement is they have not addressed anything that was said yesterday at all. Because they, are, they have not addressed it, I mean, we will continue to push them to remove their labelling. Until then, they remain condemned as endorsing and supporting animal torture. They're torturing those animals in those gas chambers and RSPCA are happy to double down on adorning their logo on that. Okay, so that should tell the public everything they need to know about the welfare movement. If the welfare movement won't even rem remove their logo from animals that have been tortured, what help do animals in their farms, what help do they have? What hope do they have? If they're accepting CO2, scientifically known torture method, what's happening to the other animals in the egg industry, salmon farming? I think we all know. They are propagandists for the meat industry. That's what they are. And uh, they need to be condemned and boycotted. All, all animal products need to be boy boycotted. If the gold standard is the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, that's the gold standard, and they are failing on their face, the welfare movement has failed the animals. So there's only one solution. It's to give animals fundamental rights to actually protect them, to protect them from those who want to make money off of their, their backs, and to go vegan, until that happens, until animals have rights protecting them, protecting them to go vegan. You don't hear one line about going vegan from the RSPCA. That's the way you prevent cruelty. That's how you know. It's disgusting that they are even involved with the meat industry to begin with. How can you police an industry that is paying your salary? How can you police it? Entire RSPCA Assured is getting all of their money 4.5 million pounds in, in 2021, 4.5 million pounds. So all of their salaries, everything from the meat industry, from the farming sector. 
That is the biggest conflict of interest I've ever heard. That is laughable. That is shocking. And no wonder, no wonder they're kneeling down to the pork industry and won't condemn CO2. Or maybe they, they do a little, yes, we think there should be more humane alternative. Nonsense. They outright will not put their logos on non-stun halal slaughtered animals because it's against their values. This is non-stun halal slaughtered. This is the same thing. This is worse. This is actually worse in many ways because they suffer for a prolonged period of time. They have heightened terror and agony in feces in a dungeon. And they say, well, we kill you together so it has welfare benefits over killing them alone. It's disgusting. The fact that they are, they're not budging on this should tell you everything they need to know. And they're, they're one of the, the most funded animal charities in the UK. I think they're one of the largest. They're the, one of the oldest, one of the largest, probably one of the most funded. So don't tell me you need that four and a half million pounds from RSPCA. Don't tell me you can't get it from donations because there are many uh, animal rights uh, charities that do just fine holding the industry to account with a much smaller budget. We cannot trust the RSPCA. No one should trust the RSPCA to care for animals. And until the actual organisation removes the tumour from their side, that is uh, RSPCA assured, that charity should have no credibility in the eyes of uh, animal lovers or those who respect the rights of animals. No credibility. Because if they won't remove RSPCA assured, they are now one, almost one and the same with the meat industry. Shame on the RSPCA, shame on them, until they completely disassociate from the meat industry and actually protect animals. Actually protect animals and tell people to boycott the industries, to stop kneeling down to the industry. Don't let this be the end of it. No. Don't let them get away with it. Don't, let's not forget. Let's not forget, well, they, they want this to go away. They would love it if this goes away. So just remember that. Don't let them forget. The RSPCA are complicit in torturing pigs, torturing animals. This is completely, diametrically opposed to what they set out to do. So it's a complete and utter failure. The RSPCA have a much higher level of accountability than the meat industry. We know what the meat industry is. We all know what their function is. It's to exploit and kill animals and create propaganda so people think something humane is happening. We know that. Share ignorant with people. Show, show them what, like, all, these, all these nonsense fairy tale propaganda labelling. Show, show that to people. Show them what the RSPCA are doing. So I just want to actually play the screams that I gathered. These screams actually didn't come from America or Australia. Um, you know, they didn't come from France or, or Germany. They came out of a, a UK CO2 gas chamber. And I, I filmed the screams with a, with a secret camera. And I pulled the, the screams out of that footage and made a one minute loop of different screams that I heard. Some of them are pigs just, just, just in, in so much terror, they can barely contain themselves and they're desperately flailing from side to side in agony. And I don't even think they know what their body is doing. They're so outside of themselves with terror. And that's where you hear the, the you, you hear the different screams. One of them, one of them you, you'll notice is a very long drawn out scream and that's them going down into the gas with their last breath of life. You'll hear some of them, it's their last final gasp for, 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 for life. And then they're in terror and they're screeching. I honestly couldn't imagine a more sick thing for the RSPCA to assure, you know? Obviously just killing an animal is morally reprehensible, but this is like something out of hell. This, these screams like are something out of some hell horror movie. So I just want to play it for people to remind themselves of why we should always condemn the RSPCA until they stop being involved with this and share it with others. Disgusting. Can you hear them? Can you hear them desperately pleading for their lives, screaming in terror? This is not going to go away till it stops. 
and I know for a fact that this is the Achilles heel of the, the pork sector, of the pig killing sector. This is their Achilles heel. They need these gas chambers. They need the CO2 gas. The gas companies have so much power over the pork industry, have so much power over them because they need that CO2 gas to kill the pigs and because they know. They know, what do we do otherwise? We can't get, kill as many pigs. They're only interested in killing as many pigs as possible. They don't care what they've, the, uh, they don't care about these screens. They don't give a damn, they care about dollar signs. The ones who know about this, shame on them, lying scumbags. Disgusting, the, of the highest order. Thank you for coming, and thank you for being here for the animals, okay? Uh, I'm glad that you're not standing by and letting others, you know, do the work. Because every one of you has something to bring. And, you know, I've I seen the farmers protest. They have 3,000 farmers there. Short notice. 3,000 in short notice. Because their livelihood's at stake. They can rally up that many. It's not us that's the victim. So it's much harder to get people to be angry. That's why we, we, you have to see what they're going through, these animals. Like, re revisit it. Revisit it once a week. Just remind yourself. Remind yourself. They can't even help themselves. They don't even have a way. They don't have a way to escape. They're, they're so vulnerable. They're like little kids. They, they have no one helping them. So I just want to say thank you to every one of you here because it's actually not a small thing for you to be here. Everything that every other activist does, you have the power to do that. Just find what you're good at and then let, don't let the fear hold you back and just go for it. And start. Just start. Okay, because uh, right now, I don't know, like, yeah, like right now, I don't know. Like the animals have everything working against them, everything. Uh, I just don't know what to do. I'm trying, we're trying, everyone's trying. We're trying for years and years and years and years, some for decades, some for, for 20, 40, 30 years. But honestly, if, uh, if we all don't start doing something, then I, I just think that animals are uh, doomed to perpetual hell forever, for eternity. That's it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here for the animals.